Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be jumping into uh, NVIDIA Canvas again. I've covered NVIDIA Canvas on my channel before, where we created this lovely bit of artwork and then it generated this on the right hand side, but it's had some updates since then. Most notably is the AI model has been upgraded and the output is now 1K, whereas previously it was uh, 512 pixels wide and tall. It's now 1024 wide and tall. And they've added five new materials as well. So let's just take a look at the update, shall we? So this is the NVIDIA Canvas uh, interface. I'm not gonna cover too much about it because it's not, you know, the interface hasn't changed much. If you do wanna learn more about how it works, I'll link my previous video up here. But I thought I'd check out some of the new features. So over here, the uh, new materials are mud, flowers, straw, bush, and dirt. So they're the five new materials. So let's just quickly uh, get a bit of um, some ground down. So let's start with the mud. Let's see how this kind of looks. So if we give our drawing some mud in the foreground, and boom, suddenly it's a nice sunrise with the mud in the foreground. And then if we, you know, make a new layer, let's get some straw. So it's turning this into some sort of Australian kind of desert. Let's see, I don't really, I don't like that. Let's Let's undo that. Uh, let's instead see what happens if I just put some down. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? So let's some straw here. And I just fill the foreground with a bit more of that strawy kind of grass. And then maybe let's uh, increase the kind of mud. Let's fill this in. Excellent. Now let's get a um, mountain in the background. So we've got hill. Uh, that looks like a mountain to me. So let's just add another layer. And then maybe let's just put a kind of mountain range just poking up in the distance. I've just realized that this layer is in the wrong position, but that's fine. We'll just drag it below. So let's just fill this in. Let's just drop that there in the background. So now these mountains are over here and the sun's poking through kind of triply uh, there. So let's just erase maybe some of this kind of like the sun where it is the sun's position may change of course oh i like that it's some sort of like uh pass i kind of like that as it is and you've got these styles over here as well so there's no new styles um these ones here so we've got the sun kind of glowing in the distance the stars above we've got this kind of you know a bit of an ocean in the distance spooky kind of black and white plane wow see this this here this does actually kind of look like a real photograph like that that one looks a bit kind of you know the sun flare it's got these weird flares on it uh, but if we go to this version you know and that that looks quite quite realistic so how about we now put some uh, clouds in the sky so <laughs> that looks like a bit of a, a grumpy face i didn't mean to do that but yeah let's let's go in with that let's make this a bit more you know grumpily um, so what else was there? There was uh, dirt. So let's have maybe a bit of a dirt path kind of going off, uh, like winding through and going up towards this kind of clearing. So uh, let's add a new layer. We've got our dirt. So let's just add kind of a dirt path. It kind of goes off into the distance. It's not really doing a huge amount. Can we like line it with some bush? What kind of bush are we talking about? Oh, that's kind of the shrubs, yeah. So that's kind of give a bit of a border. I'm going off into the, the distance. It's not perfect, obviously, but you know that kind of draws the eye a little bit. Does it? I don't know. Let's just erase some of this. So now we've got like a bit of a path. I mean that, you know, it's not perfect, but this is AI and I'm not an artist. Just get some of that down. And then the other thing was uh, flowers. You're not gonna get many flowers out here. So I wonder what sort of flower it's gonna put in if we, if I draw a flower over here. Let's have a look. I mean, still it is given those kind of desert so desert shrubs, shrubbery. It's all given the kind of same sort of similar grass though, isn't it? But yeah, that's pretty good. So now let's just have a look at this uh, over in Photoshop. So we can export this, make a new folder and just call this canvas. And let's export this as a 
PSD. So here I am inside uh, Photoshop. This is the PSD file that it brings in. And these are all my different layers. And then this is the actual image that was created. Now this is at 100% and you can see the resolution is 1024 by 1024. If we zoom in, so this is 300%. You know, it's not, it's not awful. In a follow-up video I did about NVIDIA Canvas, we ran the 512 by 512 version through some AI upscaling, and I guess we'll get even better results if we do that here. Um, but let's just bring in my original image, 512 by 512 version, and just kind of see the difference in detail that this new AI has been capable of. So this was the original version here, and you can see that this is four times bigger. Uh, the resolution's four times as big. So you can see that this is at 200%, 300%. You know, it is definitely an improvement. And if this is how it is now, imagine, and this has only been about a year, I think, since the first release and now, maybe not even that. So the fact that it's come this way in just a year, can you imagine, you know, next year, if it's four times bigger again, and we've got a 4K image, uh, it's just a crazy, crazy bit of software. The fact that, you know, from a distance, that looks like a real photograph. The, the kind of grumpy, the angry face kind of, you know, spoils it. But you never know, that could be realistic. Yeah, this was a fun little video, just as a bit of a kind of touching base again with NVIDIA Canvas. It's a really good piece of software. It's totally free. Uh, you can get it in the link in the description if you do want to play around with it yourself. And I know this is primarily a game dev channel, and you can use this for game dev. If you think about it, you could use this as a basis for concept art, you know, maybe a background that's just like blown up in the distance. Use the asset within your game as maybe like a, a photograph on a wall behind a bar. You know, you can make some crazy landscapes with it and if it fits your game, perfect. So there are uses for this in game dev as well. But yeah, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, it'd be great if you could hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more videos from me. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.